Black holes are made when a star goes supernova. The sun either explodes or goes into one. Theories suggest that black holes are supernova stuck in time. Some theories suggest that if you surpass the central point, you'll end up in a giant wormhole that could take you to the other side of the universe. You could also be in a different time but in the same universe. Other theories suggest that you can end up in entire new universes. Black holes are extremely dense. To make Earth a black hole, you have to squish it down whilst keeping the same gravity and mass down to the size of a golf ball. That's incredibly dense. Theories suggest that at the other end of a black hole is a white hole, which is the complete opposite to a black hole, which means it spews out matter and nothing can pass its event horizon. Black holes have an extremely long lifetime. It's roughly two Googleplex years. No black holes will die in our universe's lifetime. Our universe will die in roughly one trillion 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 years from today. That's an atom compared to the universe, which is two Googleplex. If there was a tiny black hole, you'd get torn to pieces, you couldn't even get close. But if there was a giant one, the gravity is so spread out, these are the only ones that humans could surpass the centre of. Black holes aren't some distant monster. There are many in our galaxy, and one huge one is at the centre of the Milky Way. They can also wander around. There are two giant black holes coming straight at us, and there are no real ways that can stop them now. Just remember to look both ones while crossing the cosmic highway. If a black hole does manage to find its way into our solar system, it will be the most epic disaster. Planets smashing into one another, asteroids falling all around, planets being turned into shreds, moons crashing into their planets. Before you even get close to us, you will all very likely be dead. But if you do survive, you may look at the sky as a Jupiter. But as it approaches, it will suck up the atmosphere, then Earth, then Venus is that next one, then Venus, Mercury, and then the Sun. Eating up an entire solar system is easy as blinking a black hole, and I'm not saying this won't happen. Black holes most likely cause a big bang. They could have sucked up a bunch of matter like stars and planets and all that jazz and just spewed it out the other end in our new universe. The next space video I'll be doing is facts on the solar system. I'm not sure how many I'll do or when it's up, but that's what I'm going to be doing. See you later.